Welcome back guys sa aking math YouTube channel. Ako nga ulit ang inyong math virtual teacher na magtatalakay ng simple interest. Swak sa mga grade 11 students na kumukuha o nag-aaral ng general mathematics. Sa pagtarakay ng simple interest, i-define muna natin ang ilang mga terms na mahalaga. Interest, amount paid or earned for the use of money. Principal or present value, amount money borrowed or invested on the origin date. Rate of interest or simple rate. Annual rate in percent charged by the lender or rate of increase for an investment. Maturity value or future value. Amount of 30 years that the lender receives from the borrower. The sum of principal and, and interest earned. Principal or present value. Amount money borrowed or invested on the origin date. Lender or creditor. Person or institution who invest the money. Borrower or debtor. Person or institution who owes the money. Origin or loan date. Date on which the money is received by the borrower. Now let's proceed to the formulas. I sub S equals PRT, the formula for simple interest. F equals P plus I sub S or F equals P plus PRT. Pansinin natin sa dalawang formula, yung I sub S sa una ay pinaltan lang ng kanyang equivalent na PRT sa pangalawa. F equals P plus Quantity 1 plus RT and those formulas are for future value where I sub S is the simple interest, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest, T in time, time in years, F is the future value. Note, if the given time is in month, it can be converted into years by using the formula T equals number of months all over 12. For example, 5 months. So, the time is 5 over 12. Mag-proceed na tayo sa mga problems. Direction. Complete the table below by solving the unknown quantities in each row. For number 1 given, principal is 50,000. Rate is 6% or 0 0.06. Time equals 5 years. Interest, simple interest is unknown and its future value. Unang hanapin natin ay ang simple interest. Ang formula I sub S equals PRT. Substitution tayo. Ang principal is 50,000. Ang rate is 0 0.06. Ang time is 5 years. Then, multiply natin ang 50,000 times 0 0.06 times 5. So, ang simple interest nga natin ay 15,000. Then, isulat na natin sa table. Therefore, ang ating simple interest sa number 1 is 15,000 pesos. Proceed na tayo paghanap ng future value. Ang formula is F equals principal plus simple interest. The principal is 50,000. Ang interest ay 15,000. Pag pinag-add yung dalawa, therefore, the future value is 65,000 pesos. At isulat na ulit natin sa table. Therefore, the future value in number 1 is 65,000 pesos. Proceed tayo sa number 2 given. Rate is equal to 4% or 0 0.04. The time is 3 years. The simple interest is 1,200. The principal and the future value are unknown. Kunahin natin hanapin sa number 2 ang principal. So, ang formula natin, I sub S equals PRT. Substitution tayo. Ang interest is 1,200. Ang principal is unknown. Ang rate ay 0.04. Ang time ay 3 years. Sa right side, multiply natin yung 0.04 sa 3 is 0.12. I-divide natin both sides ng 0.12. Cancel ang 0.12 sa kanan. 1,200 divided by 0.12 equals 10,000. At 10,000 na nga ang ating principal sa na number 2. Next natin nga hanapin sa number 2 ay ang kanyang future value. 
Ang formula is F equals principal plus simple interest. By substitution, the principal is 10,000 plus the simple interest is 1,200. 10,000 plus 1,200 is 11,200. At iyan na nga ang future value sa number 2. Proceed tayo ng number 3. Given principal is 150,000, time is 6 years, uh, future value is 181,500, ang hinahanap ay simple interest at asaka rate. Ang formula, F equals P plus simple interest. Una natin nga hanapin ay yung simple interest gamit ang future value at saka principal. By substitution, F equals 181,500 and P equals 150,000 and simple interest is unknown. Transpose natin yung 150,000 from right to left, may siyang negative 150,000. 181,500 minus 150,000 equals 31,500. At yun na nga ang ating simple interest sa number 3. At pangalawa, para makuha natin ang rate, gagamitin natin yung I sub S equals PRT. Substitution tayo. Ang simple interest is 31,500, ang principal is 150,000, ang rate ay unknown, ang time ay 6 years. Next ay simplify natin yung right side, multiply natin yung 150,000 times 6 is 900,000. Divide tayo ng 900,000 both sides, cancel ang 900,000 sa kanan. 31,500 divided by 900,000 equals 0 0.035. Move the, uh, tayo ng two places to the right. So, ang rate natin is 3.5%. At yun na nga ang rate sa number 3. Number 4 na tayo. Given, principal is 75,000. Rate is 7.5% or 0 0.075. Time is 9 months or 9 over 12. The simple interest and the future value are the unknown. Since ang ating given ay PRT, ang formula natin gagamitin is I sub S equals PRT. By substitution, principal is 75,000, rate is 0 0.075, time is 9 over 12. I-divide natin yung 9 over 12, ang sagot is point. 75. So, i-multiply na natin yung 75,000 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.75. Ang sagot ay 4,218 and 75 centavos. At yun na nga ang ating simple interest sa number 4. At muli, hanapin natin ang future value ng number 4 sa pag-add ng principal at simple interest. Ang principal ay 75,000 samantalang ang simple interest ay 4,218. Pag pinag-add natin ang dalawa, ang sagot ay 79,218 and 75 centavos. At sa muli, ang future value sa number 4 ay 79,218 and 75 centavos. At para sa ating number 5 but not the least problem, given principal is 20,000. Rate is 2% or 0.02. Simple interest is 1,600. Unknown is the rate and future value. Kahit alin sa dalawang unknowns sa number 5 ay pwedeng isolve. Dahil pareho sa kanila, sufficient ang mga given sa formula. Unahin na lang natin yung formula na I sub S equals PRT. By substitution, in simple interest is 1,600, principal is 20,000, rate is 0 0.02, time is unknown. Simplify natin ang right side by multiplying 20,000 times 0 0.02, ang sagot is 400. Divide tayo both sides ng 400, cancel ang 400 sa kanan, 1,600 divided by 400 is 4. So, ang time natin is 4. So, therefore, 4 years ang time sa problem number 5. 
last solution na natin for this video. Ang formula, F equals P plus I sub S. By substitution, P is 20,000. Simple interest is 1,600. Pag pinag-add natin yung dalawa, ang sagot is 21,600. And therefore, the future value in number 5 is 21,600 pesos. Paalala lang guys, ang sinosolve natin ay pera. Kaya kung ang sinosolve nyo ay principal, simple interest at saka future value, huwag kalimutan ang sign of peso. At sign of percent naman kung ito ay rate at kung time naman, indicate nyo kung years, months, days or others. At sa muli po, kung nakatulong sa inyo ang video na to, at bago kayo sa aking channel, huwag pong kalimutang mag-subscribe para updated po tayo ng pag-uusap sa lahat ng videos na i-upload sa channel na ito.